Hello everybody, I'm Peter Globe and today I'm making a video that's going to be asking or at least predicting about who is Eryu uh, Kugyu. Is that how it's pronounced? Sorry, I'm pretty new in the whole Japanese name Sestarak. Now, some of you are going to be asking, um, Peter, why are you making a video if you, if you, if you, the president said you need to make Steven Universe videos? Well, I despise Steven Universe so much that I actually need to watch something good so I can actually keep my sanity at least somewhat in check. And since one piece is basically some the thing I'm mostly new in and I would like to hear more about but find out more about one piece I think a prediction video about the characters who I don't know who not even the fan base knows as much it, it sounds like a thing I, we should be in now first thing I start to watch one piece somewhat in a couple of episodes in in the Holy Cake Island arc so I'm not exactly going to know everything how most of my knowledge comes well technically all my knowledge except the Holy Cake episodes I watched come from Tekken 101 who is a great YouTuber and you should be watching his channel but I'm guessing that you all are they are in but but anyway, I'm making this video because I am very really curious about because I really want to uh, discuss all the possibilities about it. Who is Ryu Kuguyo? And I don't believe someone makes a made a video on who is Ryu Kuguyo. I mean, I'm pretty sure there were videos at least once. How I'm pretty sure I like what think about watching one, but I don't think there's as many as there should be. It should be. And to be fair, it is possible that Ryu Kugyu appears in the next arc. But anyway, let's get in this discussion. Now, who is Ryu Kugyu? Honest to God, let's start with the things we know. We know he's apparently green haired. Or maybe his trademark is something green. But I consider this image, he does look more greenish in case if you see it more blue but it doesn't really matter that that much it's just supposed to be green like a beast we were presumed that he has hockey because apparent because apparently a lot of these vice admirals and admirals have hockey we know the reason why he wasn't in the battle of the marine fort is because there was a military draft and a kind of you no know, picked him because he had some kind of similar uh, view on the justice system. And apparently he's insanely powerful and some other the stuff. But I don't think there's that many other stuff to be fair. So we still don't know any, nearly anything about him. Hell, I think we just would presume his gender is male. I mean, his name is exactly the most feminine name out there, and consider is somewhat of this face fun structure that I can see, and you probably can't. Can I'll try to get a little more back. Yes, I think you can see it somewhat. It's possible it's a woman, but it doesn't seem as. So. Not that much to put. No, we know about him, like everybody tell, can tell you. So, since I'm pretty new in One Piece, I'm mostly going to be taking knowledge from other things like DC and Marvel, and Dragon Ball Super and other stuff. So that said, what can I predict about Aryu Kugo? You or let's just call him the Green Admiral. Because, well, Admiral's really are pretty colorful now I think about it. I mean, Akainu is red, red, Akiji is white, 
Kizaru is yellow. Uh, Fujito is purple. Purple and Aku is green. Huh. The first face seem a bit racist remarks, but uh, not racist, just saying it. So, the, so what can we predict? Since we don't exactly know anything about him, we can we can expect to him to be appearing in an arc pretty soon. I mean, I think there was like what. There's like the Holy Cake Island and Zoe arc, I believe, after the Dress Rosa arc. So I feel like at this point we should be introduced to him. Plus, I don't believe there's such a huge difference in power scaling between these characters that we should be like not having them interact. Also, considering how Justice Akainu is, he's like. J Justice League from Crack to J for Justice thing. It's possible he would send him or somebody else on these more uh, these more locations. I mean, we don't even know if he uses a sword, or if he's a Darfoot user, or if he's like, let's say the Win Wind Smoke family or something. But. Since the thing we know is the fact that he's incredibly powerful and he's most likely using hockey, it is possible that he would send him into that arc. Hmm. Yeah, not much to talk about to be fair or predicting. So both insanely powerful. Uh, it's not and possibly a downfoot user or ability or something like that. Now let you know there's not that much predicting to be honest. So let's just guess what his personality could be. Now if you think about it, all these animals for now have different personalities. Like a guy know is completely obsessed with justice. Aokiji was like I don't really was like lazy justice what people say. Kizaru is like randomly acting. Uh, like doing whatever he fucking wants, and e Fujitoro is like, I don't know stuff, so I'm just gonna trust the guards, so I'm gonna flip a coin. So, yeah. Since all of them are pretty different personalities, we can put. I think that his personality could be like on the lines of. Or probably his justice view could be more similar to a Kainu, but he could be be like more fun, fun and beating them up. Like if you really think about it, as much as like it, like Kizaru, he just does what he wants. I mean, like he doesn't really care that much. I mean, he's like high twenty four seven. But it could be like more f seeing fun and beating them up. Like before he will kill it, before he kills you or takes you in, he like fucking bashes you up and throw you fucking bully. Like maybe he finds fun when he you get beat up or something. So, now, if he has a death, now let's discuss what kind of a death what he could have. What kind of death food could he have? I don't know if there's a who has a death food and what's this statue for right now. But it is possible that he'll have more than green. But if he has the death food, I would assume it would be a Lugia or something like that. Like maybe the Wind Wind food. I don't believe there's a death, Lugia food like, death food like that. Maybe it's like that, or maybe it's an ancient that food, or mystical, mystical. So it has me like it would be a Parmesia, but it's possible. But still, I feel I'm leaning really more to a Lugia Wind Wind that food, because if you kind of think about it, they are like elements and stuff. So it would kind of make sense that a green person would be have the wind. So, yeah, not much to talk about him. 
Yeah, this video is pretty boring. Not to think about it. It's mostly me just repeating the same stuff. So, yeah. Now, I hope you at least somewhat like this video. I'm not exactly the most aware. I'm trying to do more One Piece. I'll be trying to make more One Piece stuff that will be more, you know, exciting. Now, also, this image, which image belongs to, to Oda. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can pronounce his na first name. And One Piece, so whoever owns One Piece basically gets this pi There's this uh, image. Now, I hope you like this video. I hope you're gonna leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos in future. And that's it. I cannot wait to see all the people next time. Bye.